Hey guys, uh, welcome to today's modification. This is the Sulfur and SC32, and I'm gonna take off the SST40 and put an SFT40 in here. So it looks like, so the positive is soldered to the positive lead screw there. I don't know what that red lead is. And then the negative is on that pad. So first thing we're gonna start off with is soldering, or uh, getting these leads off, these contacts off with the soldering iron. And a quick note, so I've seen a lot of people with this cheap heating pad from Amazon. Um, I ended up buying a motor, AC motor regulator off Amazon for maybe like six bucks. And that way I can actually adjust the temperature of this little heating pad. Um, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to show you guys in case you do need a heating pad. Um, I know adjustable ones start like around $80, $90, but you can get this combo for less than $20. And it works great. You'll see. So now I'm gonna remove these contacts very carefully because I don't want to hit the SST40. Take it a while to heat up. So the MCPCB, you know, and then the rest of the flashlight absorb a lot of this heat. And there's thermal paste, at least there should be. Yeah, it looks like there's some thermal paste right there. But I'm just doing this and holding it here as it warms up the circuit board. Um, sometimes I do switch sides just to kind of try and even it out a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that's already... I think I can pull that one off already just because of the time I spent on the negative side. Let's go. It's coming up. Oh, let me stop. Do not recommend using sharp tip tweezers when you do this, as I scratched an SFT40 because I used those last time. I should just put them away, but I was using them on another project.
there's that one. I don't know why this one's being so doggone stubborn. I thought I took the battery out of there. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Bush leak. Alright. I took the battery out, and that may have been absorbing a lot of heat as well. There's a flashlight that you guys want to see me modify. Um, put it in the comments. I have a lot of different flashlights that would be good for modding. Like the Sofer SC18 is also another good one. That I want to put a, an SFT40 in. There we go. Now let's get whatever the heck this one is off. super careful you don't touch the LED with either your tweezers especially not the soldering iron CPCB apart from the flashlight. Alright, now comes the super fun part of taking the emitter off. Um, I usually can get them off around 190 degrees Celsius. Usually. I've done it one time. I've taken off an emitter one time <laughs> and it was at like, yeah, 190. So now we're at 180 and I have this nice little regulator right here that's, um, you know, help letting the voltage step up a little bit slower than um, the way it comes stock. I think it should be ready to come off. So now I'm going to clean that MCPCB up um, with some rubbing alcohol and then I'll be right back. All right, so it's time to put on some solder paste and attach this new LED to the MCPCB. Take a look real quick. Oh, um, for the solder paste, I use this chip quick. I bought it off Amazon and there is silver in it, but it's a no clean, which I've heard is good. And it worked well for me the last time. So if you need a good solder paste, this one is good. Uh, like when I dispense it, it's super easy. But yeah, it's good stuff. So when you apply the solder paste, I've always heard, you know, you want to do more is better than less. And before I even do this, 
I made sure and like pushed the plunger onto a paper towel just to make sure there wasn't any gunk. All right, so decent amount of solder paste on there. Oh, it needs to get heated up. All right, so really quick while that's heating up. This is an SFT40. Let's see, I put the... And this is an SST40. So the SFT40 is known for having really good throw. The SST40 is, is really, it's just a good all around light. But personally, in my opinion, I like the SFT40 a little bit more. I like the throw. Uh, mainly because of my job, I need a very concentrated beam. And if you're trying to figure out which way goes where, if you can see on the bottom left how there's that little little line that's not on the right side. So, oh, I gotta check this again. I believe that little line goes to the negative side. But I'm gonna double check it. Um, get back to you all right so I just confirmed that you know I want to make sure and put this on the correct way so it looks like I can't see it you see that little notch on the bottom there we go the little notch so if you flip this over you'll also see the little line and that means it goes on the negative side so I'm just gonna plop that on there right there and I'm gonna check the heat real quick so oh shit it's way too hot gosh So I want this to go down to maybe like 170 at the highest. So I'm gonna wait for that. All right, so I just did the heat. Oh, wow. That was pretty crazy. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna turn the heat down. Looks like it's a little too hot and actually remove the board just in case put it in the corner nobody puts baby in the corner we do put the mcpcb in the corner when it's way too hot so i'm going to turn down the heat huh 163 that's not bad So, I didn't put on a lot of solder paste, so the, I really didn't need to remove too much solder from underneath the emitter. Normally, uh, a lot more, like, little solder balls will pop out from underneath it, but that didn't happen here. And I'm just tapping the top, tap, tap, tap a -roo, trying to tap those little balls out. And one thing I know I forgot to mention, and it should be coming up here soon, is when you have your emitter on your MCPCB and you're heating it up, um, you 
you want to like kind of tap the emitter just and it kind of bounces back and that just means that it's in place securely the little balls as I could. Sometimes it's kind of tough, but we'll let this cool off and stick it back in the flashlight. Alright guys, thanks for uh, sticking with me this far. What we're going to do now is put on some thermal paste. This is Top Da T06. High performance thermal paste, we'll see. Mm, don't let your kids get it. Um, and make sure you don't stick it in your eyes. So I'm going to put this on the back of the MCPCB, uh, pretty much cover the whole area, stick it back in here, and then I'll get started on the soldering. So I made sure to cover the whole area, and I'm going to grab a paper towel, well, let's put this back in. screw holes and then of course you want to make sure that these will reach their targets this one's super weird uh, I think I'm gonna solder it right there all right and this little guy goes on top of this guy right there this little guy goes down right there. That one should be easy. These other two might be kind of hard. I check the heat on my solder in there. Looks like it's pretty tanned. If you're new to soldering, you need to, I mean, I'm no pro, but I've just noticed when I put flux on everything, it comes together easier.
to mess up her little head. This is here for. Maybe somebody can explain it to me. What's up? Damn it. Alright. I'm gonna put this on the other side then. Alright, so there's this one over here. Because I don't like how close it is to my precious SF240. I know what you guys are thinking. Man, he makes this look so easy. I can't wait to do this. He's bumping into his camera. Oh shoot. Oh, I just unclipped that. He's making mistakes left and right. Probably ruined his LED. I kid. It is definitely a lot of fun to mod, but it takes a lot of patience. Let's see if I can shut this down a little bit. On this side, and I just lost my whole bubble. All right, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Like it won't bond to the board. That's why I'm hoping I can get it to bond to the screw. And I can solder it, I guess, back to the screw the way it was. said flux. Not, I mean like it even matters. 
It's not like there's little kids trying to watch flashlight videos. No, they're too busy trying to watch Jake, dumbass Paul. All right, there we go, baby. Yeah, yeah. Get some. All right, let's see if that did it. We'll see if it's connected. Beautiful. All right. This is an SC32 with an SFT40. I'm gonna clean it up, put it back together, and we're gonna go, well, let's make sure it works first, right? <laughs> I'm all ambitious. Yeah, we're gonna go get some beam shots. That is, if I even got this done correctly. Dun, da, da, da. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 All right. So I have the LED in there and I put some glow in the dark tape in there. Uh, that way it'll give it like a little glow. But, uh, let's put this together. We'll go get some beam shots, right? Hey guys, so I appreciate you sticking with me all the way to the end. So as you can see, so this is on low, like the lowest it goes, and it has some decent throw. Whoa. This is the Sofern SC32 with an SFT40. All right. Boom, look at that. <laughs> this this is an SC32, I promise. I know that's crazy. Look at that beam. That's coming from an SC32. Those trees are uh, over 100 meters away. It gets really hot really fast on turbo but you really don't need to use turbo very much. I mean, let me turn it down on like a really low setting, you know, it's hitting those trees. Oh, it won't go to turbo right now, maybe because of the heat. Anyways, I'll turn it down. I don't want to ruin the flashlight that I just modified. Hey guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I hope you learned something. Uh, and if you came here just to see this light, I get it. Um, but it is, it's a really cool little flashlight and it's uh, fairly easy to modify if you want to improve it a little bit like I did, but it, yeah, it's definitely better with the SFT40. Look at that. There we go, now we got some turbo action. Boom. <laughs> oh, amazing. All right, guys, hey, let me know what you want me to modify next. I was thinking the SC18, putting an SFT40 in there. And anyways, I hope you guys all have a great day and take care.